In this video, we are taking a look at these, the 361 Spire 5. What is up everybody and welcome to 40 Runs. Now firstly, have you heard of 361, 361, wherever you live? Now this is a Chinese company, quite big I would say in terms of um, athletic clothing and shoes and stuff like that. But they brought their shoes to Europe, they did that a few years ago. Um, it kind of uh, sort of filled out a bit, but they've come back um, this year, 2022 slash 2023, because they're redoing a lot of their shoes, which is what we have here, the Spire. Five. Um, okay, where do we start? Okay, so firstly, uh, the shoe was sent, uh, and shoes, I'll come on to that in a minute, were sent by 361 to us here at 40 Runs, uh, but we're not getting paid by 361. They've never seen this video. Um, they've not given me a script, shock, anything like that, right? So total transparency as always, they've just sent the shoes in. For review. Okay, right, so this video actually is not going to be me testing these shoes. Uh, we got sent two pairs of these shoes, one for Simon and one for Sabrina. So we've got a male and female test on this uh, channel today, which is good news. Um, but um, yeah, so they're testing the shoes, not me. But I wanted to do this quick intro to give you a little bit of flavour about the shoe before we head out on their run. This is the new Spire 5, which is a complete overhaul versus the previous version. I think the most interesting thing here is the midsole. We've still got the quick spring plus, uh, but we've also now got a the quick flame material, which is this Peba based foam, which was on the flame, the 361 flame, which was their carbon plated racing shoe. Um, I think the old version used to have a carbon plate, but either way, uh, this hasn't got a carbon plate. It's also got a new mesh upper. In terms of weight, it's about 10 ounces for a US 9. I've seen that quoted. It's got a 9mm drop. It fits okay, according to the guys. It does um, come in a little bit narrow at the front, so I just watch that, but the guys have both given me that feedback that it cuts in a little bit there. And I think that's it in terms of, um, oh, I think it's 170 euros on the 361 website, but you could probably get that else where um, at different prices. Yeah, I think that's it in terms of the stats and features before we get into the run. Um, I think hopefully you know by now on this channel, we, we like to get a, a variation of runs before we put a video out in terms of a first impressions or a review. Um, so yeah, I've given the guys uh, the job today of going out on their longer run and filming their impressions of the shoe um, and how it felt and what it's like and all that kind of stuff. Just as a pre-warning, this is a no holds barred video as you'd expect from 40 Runs. Honest feedback, honest opinions, uh, which you'll see through this video. Um, so yeah, so as always, we're giving honest feedback on this YouTube channel. Right, so with that out of the way, let's join the guys as they head over for their long run. Six miles in, Sabrina was telling us how much she's loving the shoes. What were you saying? They're absolutely awful. They're heavy, they're hard, they rub. They're worse than the Kayano 28, which I've sent back, so. It's good news though, six miles to go. Oh God. Halfway. Is, is there anything nice about them so far? Nope. I no? think they're too bad. Sorry? That's not too bad. Well, they went on nice and easy. <laughs> Is that the only thing? Yeah. That might be why they're rubbing a bit loose. <laughs> Alright, well, we'll see what they're like in another six miles. See if there's any blisters. Sorry, loving it. I'm not going anywhere. Oh, two hours 20 seconds, I thought, Steve. Yeah, two hours 21. Two hours one minute. Shows your watches are never right. Well, yeah, 12 miles. miles so exactly Can you bang on 7 miles? 7 miles, 12 miles. There we go. Now, do you want to go straight in? Or do you want to have a little... Do we do it back at the car? Right, we're going to do a little view back at the car. Once I've had a minute to get them off. 
might give you a little hint of where it's going. Oh. Sorry, it's falling out. So sorry. What are they called? What do you make of them? What are they called? Spiral five. Well, Spire. Spire five. Spire five three six. Grip was good. Considering they're not a trail shoe. Oh. No, the grip was good. The apples, okay, they wasn't too warm. They was up to about, they was all right up to about six miles. By 10 miles, there was a slight blister that started to come on the inside. I'd probably give them about a five out of 10. Were they responsive? Not really. Didn't really get any feedback back from them? No, they were just like, sort of like bad daily trainers. <laughs> <laughs> they had, I don't really see a place from. So if you had to compare them to the Max Road? Oh, hands down, Max Road win. By, by a long, long, long way. A long mile. Because the thing is in the Mac Road, you can pick the speed up them if you want. And you can do long runs, short runs, you do everything in them. Go off road in them. Not so, these. So, so you wouldn't you wouldn't even add them to your rest two rotation? Maybe for gardening. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> but then you've got some old Max Roads, right? Yeah, to be fair, they're probably better. But no, I'd probably give them, they're about, a, I'd say about a five out of ten. They're okay. But the problem is, I think they're 169 euros. Yeah, they ain't, they ain't cheap, are they? They're not. They, they got a lot of competition in that band. A, they need to be better for that. Like, but they, granted, they were supportive and all that, but they weren't. They just, there's nothing really there, to be honest. Uh -huh. That's size you, so five out of 10. Five out of 10. Well, I think that's quite strong for that you, was to be generous. Honest. I think that's very generous for you. Generous. So, Sabrina. Yeah. How were they for you? Awful. <laughs> Um, I found them too firm. They weren't slippy, so that's good. The the grip was all right. Um, they're too heavy for me. Like I'm a what are these five and a half, and they felt heavy, ploddy, not responsive. Uh, I had blisters from about six miles in three places. So going back in the box. <laughs> no. But it's uh, and interestingly, I think. You and Simon were saying that the blisters are both in the same place. Yes, on the inside of the arch, yeah. there's a seam. Well, I took them off actually at about eight miles to have a look at what was going on. And um, there's a seam, and they rub where it kind of blends with the inside. It's only in one spot. Yeah. Yeah. Really uncomfortable. Only on one shoe as well. On the left, mine is. Mine's on the left. Yeah. So more of a manufacturing issue than a, like than it. an actual running yeah. Yeah. form issue. Yeah. That's fine. So out of ten. Three. Sire, you got a three, you gave a five. Well, I just don't know what you'd, what you do, where they play in your rotation. I think the problem is, if you, if they was a, I don't know, if you just bought them as a, if you just ran five k, it'd probably be all right, but why would you buy them? No, I think, as you say, uh, 170 euros, which is probably 150. 170 yeah, quid. You think to yourself, at the moment, it's... you can get the Sockany Pro 2 for about 80 quid, the Pro 3 is 150 quid, which is probably like like for them. I'm about to buy a pair of glide rides for 90 quid, glide ride threes. These are not worth it. That's the thing, them glide rides I've got, 90 pounds, do everything. So basically they're Too not, not, the, not the greatest shoe and in completely the wrong price bracket is what... Um... Even, they needed to be like 130 pounds to like, for that, even, even then. You pay 130 for them? No, but compared to other shoes out there. The Max Road, I'm about to start a fight, yeah. quid. 120 yeah. quid compared to them. True. Max Road's a 9 out of 10. That's a 3 at most. Are you, are you keeping with your 5? <laughs> no, I'll go 4 now. <laughs> <laughs> I, that was four. quite strong, your 5, I thought. Yeah, maybe if I think about it again, we'll go 4. Ooh, I'll actually, in a minute, it might be about 10. I think. Yeah, 4 we'll go. It says quick spring on it. I didn't find them springy at all. No, there was no pace in them. None. But I know we. What was it going? 9 30, 10 minute miles? Yeah, I mean, we weren't, we weren't but, pushing it a lot. But, but I don't think they would have still... gone much more. No, but you still expect a little response. No, there was nothing. But there was nothing, they were just flat. Flat. Yeah. I mean, they're stable, give them that then. That's what I mean, yeah. <laughs> Maybe if you... I can have a half a mark for that, I'll give them a three and a half then. Stable. That's the thing, right? you could use them for it, like, if you just start running, but why would you spend 160 quid on them? You just wouldn't. You wouldn't. There's so many other options out there for yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think that's, like, the most value of a shoe review that we've done 
Who got? And do you notice there's somebody missing? Well. Do you reckon that might be? So how would you run though? It's nice and quiet, I thought. Oh, chatty. The run was brilliant. Yeah. Lovely. Good company. We'll try that again. No toilet stops. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we can stop on the toilet. Not once. Not there you go. Right. Well, I've had a bit of go, but it's a beer all day. Yeah. There you go. Bye, Si. Bye. Bye, Sabrina. Bye. See you later. Okay, so there you go, people. I think that's quite conclusive in terms of their opinions, uh, and that's why I absolutely love um, having other people review shoes on this channel. It's not just about me, which is good. Um, thanks very much to 361 for sending the shoes over, um, for putting it out there, and, and being you know open to uh, independent people reviewing their shoes. We're not journalists or any shape or form, which is good news. So a uh, big shout out to them for sending over, especially two pairs as well, uh, male and female for us to review. Okay, guys, that's it for me. Let me know in the comments um, whether you've tried 361 shoes, like I said at the start, and I'll catch you guys later.